Welcome to the Rod and Reel Pier in the Sarasota, Bradenton, Florida area. My name is Lenny Besterman. I'm with Sarasota Experience, and we're going to check this gem out here on Anna Marie Island today. Anytime you come on Anna Maria Island, this is a must. You gotta stop and take some family pictures. When you see this sign, you know you're almost at paradise. When Sarasota Experience goes out to Anna Maria Island, we always visit our friends at Bay Breeze Getaways. This place has three houses right across the street from the beautiful Rod and Reel Pier, and it's very, very nice and affordable. Well, let's head over to the Rod and Reel Pier and check it out. But while we head over there, this is a great time to ask you to subscribe and ring that bell. Like I always say, if you're interested in Florida, especially Sarasota and Manatee counties, this is the page you want to follow. This pier is located at 875 North Shore Drive, Anna Maria Island, 34216. It's an awesome place to fish. It's an awesome place to have drinks. And it actually has a restaurant in the boathouse at the end of the pier. Talk about affordable. Let me explain this to you. TJ and I went fishing. For me, it was $2. For him, it was $1 because he fits in between the age of 8 and 12. And if your kids or children are under of age of 8, it's 100% free. They rent fishing equipment there. They sell bait at a very affordable rate, live and frozen. It's just a perfect Florida dream come true. If you're on Anna Maria Island, take advantage of their restaurants and you have to make sure you hit this rod and reel pier. The day we were out there, we saw a sea turtle, tons of different birds and wildlife, and actually saw at least 10 to 15 different sets of dolphins. It was an absolute beautiful scene and I look forward to going out there every time I have a chance. You have to understand something about this island. It's extremely special and such a gem that you just do not see anymore. There are golf carts all over the streets. The place closes down a little early at night and it's like you're in the middle of nowhere. It makes you feel like you're in paradise and camping mixed together. That's my own personal opinion. Oh, and let's not forget to talk about those stars. The only place that rivals Anna Maria Island with the views of the stars on a clear night is the center part of the state. And the only reason that white one up it is because it's in the middle of nowhere. But then again, so is this island. It really truly is beautiful. You see nothing but white dots in the sky. I wish I could put a photo on this video so you could clearly understand. If you know you have a beautiful clear night, even if you live here, make sure you come out this way and just sit in your car, lay in your truck bed, do whatever you need to to enjoy that view. It is absolutely insane, I promise you. Such a hidden gem. This place also, just so you know, as far as Anna Maria Island, it is in the top five vacation islands in the world. Now that's of an opinion from a different site. I do not remember which one it was, but it has been rated in top five islands to vacation in the world. And if you were ever here and you got to experience what it's about, I think you would agree with that. It's totally amazing. Come on a Sunday afternoon, walk around the pier. Let's say you're here on vacation and you're staying on Siesta Key. Take that drive north and head up and check it out. Let's talk about a couple different ways for you to get here. Actually, I'm going to pick one. Let's talk about it from St. Armand Circle, which is the center of Sarasota. If you come through St. Armand Circle and you follow the signs to Longbow Key. Take that beautiful drive up through Longbow Key, follow it to the very north end, and once you hit the north bridge on Longboat and you cross over, the very, very first beach on the left-hand side is called Coquina Beach. That's where Anna Marie Island starts. You're gonna follow it another 15 to 20 minutes, and that's just a guess, all the way up to the north end where the Rod and Reel Pier is. As you know, we all have capabilities of Googling, so make sure you put this uh, address in your GPS so you're not lost. 
but it is going to be probably on average a 30 to 40 minute drive for most people in the area. But I assure you, it is worth the drive. I'm Lenny Besterman with Sarasota Experience. Make sure you check out the Rod and Reel Pier on Anna Marie Island when you're in the area and put it on your bucket list. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Did you know we're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter? Check it out.